Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can make a UI table view just using code. Alright, so we have a UI table view that takes up the whole view of the view controller and that displays um, an Apple product in every single row. Alright, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is open up a new Xcode project, single view application, product name called a table view, press next, save it. Alright, so here on the main of storyboard, we already have a view controller, and we're not gonna do anything else with this file. So open up the view controller.swift. We can delete everything under the class decoration and before the last curly bracket, and we just need to add a few things. First thing, after where it says UI view controller, type comma. UI table view data source and UI table view delegate. Right. Next, let's make an array of strings called products, and this array will have all of the Apple products. So we have MacBook and we have iPhone. And let's add the Apple Watch. All right, great. Right. Now, with the UI table view delegate, we have two methods that we need to implement. The first one is the table view number of rows in selection. Right. We're going to have this to return products.count which is the amount of items in our products array. The next method we need is a table view cell for row at index path. And what we do in this method is that we can modify our table view cell and then return it so that will be output to the view controller. Before we do anything in this method, we first need to make the table view. So in the view the load function, we're going to say table view dot frame equals cg rec and choose the parameters with the doubles for x can be 0 y is 10 the width is going to be self dot view dot frame dot width and the height is going to be the self dot view dot frame dot height what this does is positions the table view in the center now what this does, it, now what this does, it positions the table view 10 pixels down and take up the entire width of the view controller and the entire height of the view controller. All right. Now the next step is we need to register the cell we're going to use for the table view. All right. So the way we do this is table view dot register cell and choose cell class. And here type UI table view cell that self and the identifier we can name this cell. Basically, what this does, it tells the table view which UI table view cell class to use. So if you had your own subclass of UI table view cell, you can type the class name in here instead of the UI table view cell. For now, we're just gonna use this one because of the default class it gives us. All right, next, we need to connect our table view to the data source and the delegate. So say table view dot delegate equals self and table view dot data source equals self. The last thing we need to do to this is to add the table view to the view controller. So say self dot view dot add self view and it's going to be table view. All right, next, come here to the cell for row at function and say let cell equals table view dot distinct reusable cell with identifier string and that strings could be cell like what we have up here for index paths and we just type in index paths. All right, next, the cell dot text label that text equals products 
index pass dot row. What it, what this does is sets the text layer for the cell to the string of our products. Next, we need to return the cell. So type in return cell. All right, that should be it for the code. So now, if we build and run this, all right. So we see the table view we just made, and with all the products that we had in our products array. So if we add more products, say we put in um, iMac, we run it again, and the table view should update with the new iMac product. There you go. Alright, so this made a quick tutorial on how you can make a UI table view using just a few lines of code. Tell me what kind of tutorials you want to see next in the comments below. Alright, see you next time.